Well, hello there, video world. This is Ray Glasser. On early, what is it, Friday morning, February 23rd, 1979, at about 3.45 a.m., an ungodly hour in which to do camera tapes. But we had an unusual occurrence happen here tonight on the east side of Cleveland, Ohio. And Art Volo, this is going to totally shatter you, okay? Uh, this will be going to Art, among uh, other people in the video world. You know, we've had many people over here uh, in this apartment at uh, 276 to Winter Green Boulevard, apartment 215 on the east side of Cleveland in the last two and a half or three years with uh, respect to videotaping and Betamax trading and all that good stuff. And tonight we have a man that I met only once before in Ypsilanti, Michigan in 1978 in uh, August of that year. A man that I've traded with and corresponded with for a good number of months on and off. And uh, he's with us here tonight. Come on over. We've had many people, wait a minute, in this apartment wearing all types of outfits and whatnot. And up till now, we've had no one wearing a tux. Well, this man has changed all that. I'd like you to meet the real Stu Solid Goldberg from... Yeah, popcorn. <laughs> Here's your tickets to the show. Thank you very much. You're what's very what's showing tonight? Um, well, uh, the Ray Glasser specials are Why showing not? tonight. We have plenty of those, yeah, don't we? Have plenty of those. That's right. <laughs> Art, blow your mind, right? Hey, hey, is my tie straight? There we go. Tone it down a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. Okay. okay. Why, why don't we tell the fans how you got to be here tonight to begin with? And what an interesting take, story take, that take is. Okay. Son of a gun. Um, it happens that I was coming into town to uh, <laughs> relax, it's late, in a special, I'm so sleepy, it's uh, 3.45 a.m., I've been up since uh, 6.45 this morning, got packed to come to Cleveland to a WERE, WGCL party, which was being thrown at the Executive Club, and the only thing I knew was that it was on Chagrin Boulevard. As it turns out, it's right next door to me over there. Which was the real surprise, right. because when we got off of 271 coming southbound uh -huh. and uh, got on to Chagrin Boulevard, we went by Quirky and Lenny's, right. and <laughs> I said, I, I just flipped. And I said, <laughs> obviously, Ray is there, and it was yeah. the evening, so I knew that you were working right. on this Thursday night, and I had no idea where we were going to go one mile past, two miles past. Well, when we went right by, went less than a block and a half mm -hmm, and stopped, mm -hmm. I said, I've got to stop by and this say hi. <laughs> so I came by to right. see you at the restaurant, and, and we decided to get together afterwards. Right. And, uh, it, was, it was really funny because the ushers at the Village Theater next door to where I work wear tuxes. And this guy with curly hair comes in, and I figured, <laughs> I got a new usher. And I looked at him and says, that's Stu Goldberg. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. So Stu and I got together about 1 o'clock this morning when I got off of work. And I've been showing him parts of my library along with doing some dubbing and some other goodies. And uh, he finally made it up to my apartment here, which you've seen on tape a number of times, right? That's right. And yeah. Putting a face and a space behind the tapes. Whatever, yeah. That's it. Now, isn't it true that you've, okay, you've seen this apartment on videotape at least once or twice, yeah, at least a and now you've times. been here. Right. Isn't it true that video and a camera makes the place look a lot bigger than it really is? I think so, but not yeah. by a tremendous amount. Uh, yeah. We always had the pan across of your tape library. Right. And, uh, and the door and some of the other things that you've had before. Right. Um, but I, I think you're right. You do get a greater expansive feeling mm -hmm. yeah. than uh, yeah. than being in the apartment well, itself. Well, let's see. Going it's very cozy. Yeah, yeah very tiny. Um, when you and I met last August, you were working for WDEE in Detroit. That's right. And a lot's happened to you since then. It sure has. Well, in, upon in a that very a short bit? period of time, I've uh, taken an apartment in New York. I'm working for RKO Radio Sales, representing, uh, well, let's see, here in town, WERE and WGCL right. uh -huh. in Detroit, CKLW, AM, and Ooh, FM. Yeah, that's right. They're, they're RKO. WOR and WXLO, 99X is in New York. Right. In Boston, WRKO right, right. and WROR FM. KFRC in San Francisco. Uh, uh, if uh, Joe gets to see this uh, down his way, KHJ and yeah. K Earth, uh, right, K -Earth. Uh, down yeah. in Los Angeles, They're two very fine stations. Yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. right. And uh, we have about 20 markets and wow. 32 stations in those that's markets. Great. Yeah, that's great. Fantastic. So I'm enjoying New York very much. I'm missing a lot of my video friends here, yeah, and I still yeah. have not found someone in Manhattan well, with I, a Betamax. I, I, I can turn you over to one. Great. Remind me before That's you great. I'll tonight. have to get that address. Right. No sweat. So, Art, if you've never seen me, and you probably never will again, in black <laughs> tie, here I am yeah, tonight right, with Ray. Right. And uh, our, uh, Stu has also seen the tape that was on the beginning of this particular tape, this miscellaneous tape, uh, with our super video convention in Fremont, Ohio, on Not the 5th bad, of right. February. It was fantastic. And on that tape, we did mention, Stu, fly down from the Big Apple next time and all this. And you're going to, right? I promise to be there. Make a point I'm of it. Going <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't miss it for anything. Great, if it ever happens again. Um, what else can we say? It's 
It's been fun. Oh, it's, it's been, been, a, been a lot evening. of fun. It's almost 4 o'clock in the morning. Almost 4. I've got yeah. to get up in a few hours. We've got a 9 o'clock uh, breakfast. And right. I've got an 11.15 plane that's going to take me back to New York. Presentations the rest of Friday and then a Saturday to sleep mm -hmm. in. Yeah, and relax and recuperate. And relax. That's right. right. Okay, very good. Thanks for the evening. It's been oh, a lot hey, of fun. it's been a ball. I'm glad you made it over. It's a, 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 Guys, a, a one in a million shot. Again in black tie and, you know, t shirts. Oh, we have to talk about We're going to get a close up of both you and me. All right. Let's do a close up right now of I Stu. Well, just sit there. I better yet stand up and take the mic. This is going to be a close up of Stu in his total black tie outfit. Look at that. Oh, my God. Have the microphone. Well, I wouldn't say it's right out of GQ, but uh, <laughs> it was sure fun wearing for tonight. Okay. And now we're going to go now from class to slob, okay? Here we have a typical Cleveland restaurant worker, all right? Now, there's no zoom on this, by the way, but. Let's okay. see if I can zoom in right on that. Uh, all right. Just look at my shirt. This came. I'll tilt down a little bit, and I'll focus it for you. This came from Art Volo today. Forget the gut, but look at this nice little iron on. Lend me a buck, I'm from Cleveland. This came from Art Volo on the day that he was to leave for Los Angeles to see Mark Wielage and Joe Mazzini and to attend a uh, a R&R uh, &R convention out there. And that's awfully bad lighting, so I'm going to sit back down here. Well, Stu, I see your camera work has improved since last year. <laughs> There's a, a button, a knob on the back of the camera that says focus far near. Why don't you turn that and look at the monitor and maybe get me back and focus a little bit better. Very good. Okay. This makes you look almost like Joe Mazzini, I'll tell you. Okay, come on back in here, Stu. We'll say our final goodbyes, and I'm going to run you back to your hotel so I can get some sleep tonight. Well, let's say goodbye. Well, okay. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye Steve. Goodbye, and Joe. A special hello to two people, to Wynn Rosenberg, who could not be here tonight because he's probably sleeping, ah. and also to Mr. Kerry Decker of WKKD-TV, Channel 3, down in Orlando, Florida, whom I will see someday in person. I hope I have the same opportunity. Aren't these video trips fun? I love it. Actually, this wasn't a video trip for you. This was a side thing today, meeting me and coming over here and all that. It highlighted the whole afternoon. Well, I'll thank you very much. Thank you very <laughs> Listen, much. Listen, it's been a real ball. My pleasure. Great. Okay. Hope to see you again. Wait till you come to New York. I'll be there someday. I've never been there, and I got You've a. Never been to New I'd York. I've never in my life been in New York City. We'll change that. Got a mess of people to look up there too, including you. Fabulous. Great. Okay, it's been fun from Ray Glasser and Stu Solid Goldberg. Why do they call you Solid? Where did it ever come from? From the uh, 60s gold format we did at Rockin' 650. Solid Gold. WRCN, yeah. Okay, thanks. I was always curious about <laughs> that. Okay. Ray Glasser and Stu Goldberg signing off at 3.51 in the morning on February 23rd, 1979. So long and take care. Good night, all. Have a good plane ride back, Stu. Thanks a lot. Okay, bye-bye.